welcome back to my channel guys do want to show you guys my angel fish getting ready to lay eggs it's actually the white one right there that just jumped out she's the female and the one with the stripes he's actually the male i have two breeding cones in there um i do believe they're going to lay the eggs on the gray one so i'm going to show you guys exactly how she cleans it to get ready to lay the eggs on it you can actually see her breeding tool is actually protruding a bit further than it normally does I have a divider in this community tank I have to keep those guys away while they actually go ahead and lay their eggs that's less stress on them that way they can just concentrate more on laying and fertilizing the eggs they'll go over and check the divider every now and then and go back over to cleaning the breeding tube as you can see now she's cleaning that one just pecking on it and pecking on it so I'm not really sure which one she's going to lay the eggs on but she's had the one on the right for a few weeks and she refuses to lay the eggs on that one for some reason he's cleaning it as well i do know it'll be one of them today so i just wanted to show you guys how they actually do that I'm going to actually update you guys on them laying the eggs as well. And of course, me raising the eggs, hatching them and raising them, should I say. See, she just pecks it to clean it. Once they start doing it like relentlessly, like now, basically just full throttle, you know you have really soon, I would say within the next 24 hours, that they're going to hatch. When they're doing it just a little, you got about 48 hours. But when they're doing it this consistent, there's going to be some eggs laid really soon. She's just actually going back and forth from breeding cone to breeding cone, cleaning them. So at least this week I know for sure she won't lay them on the side of the tank. It'll be on one of these breeding cones. He's looking it over now, checking it out, making sure it's clean enough for the eggs. She's cleaning it. Looking it over, looking it over, making sure she didn't miss any spots. You can see her lips really good. They always clean the area before they lay the eggs on it. Most of the time you can tell which area they choose because for at least 48 hours they're going to clean those areas really good. And like I said, the last 24 hours they're going to do it consistently. 
like almost with, with a vengeance. <laughs> As you can see, she keep going back to it. I'll definitely be getting eggs. I would say within the next two hours, she should be laying the eggs. And I'll update you guys back when she does that. Quick update. So she's been going back and forth on both of the breeding cones, actually. Just like she is now. As if she's actually laying eggs. But as you guys can see there are no eggs she has been doing this now for i would say at least 30 minutes she'll go back and forth and clean just like she is now and then do as you can see now as if she's laying eggs but she isn't i'm not sure exactly what this behavior is or what it means but i guess we'll see in a minute okay guys they are actually laying the eggs now she chose this cone instead of this breeding cone. As you can see, the female, she'll go and she'll lay rows. And the male, he'll normally go behind her and fertilize the row of eggs that she's laid. There's quite a few there already. This is basically the fashion that they go in she'll lay eggs you can see her breeding too really well there she'll lay the eggs you can see the line of eggs she just laid and hopefully he'll go behind her and do his best at fertilizing those eggs so they'll basically do this for quite some time the male, as you can see, he goes behind the female. You can actually see her breeding too, her actually laying the eggs. And then the male, which is the stripy one, he'll go behind her and he'll fertilize them. They'll do this. My angelfish normally, let's say, maybe about two hours, sometimes a little more it takes them to get done. I usually make sure they're 100% done before I actually remove the eggs and put them into my hatching tank. And see all of those eggs. So again, what you guys are watching are a male, the stripy fish, and the platinum is the female, and they are angelfish, and they are laying eggs that I will be hatching and posting videos and updates and raising them as my little angelfish babies. Again, I'm in this community tank. Therefore, be kind of difficult for these guys to do it on their own. female back there checking things out guess getting her a little bit of rest before she come back and start again there she is 
You can actually see them coming out of the breeding tube that time. Okay, guys. See you guys once I remove all of these beautiful angelfish eggs. Okay, I want you guys to notice they aren't laying eggs anymore. They are watching them and guarding them closely, even though they don't have to because I do have the divider up, but they're watching them and guarding them closely. No more laying eggs. I'm going to give you at least about 30 seconds of this. Just to let you see, you can tell when they're done. And now I'm going to go ahead and remove that cone with all of these eggs on them. My fish will probably go ahead and start getting defensive, but I'm going to give you guys a good view of what we're looking at here. They're also on the other side alrighty here we go and take the top off this is going to be quick because you can't leave them out of the water for long I already have the water out of my hatching tank we'll see how these guys act they don't know my hand is in here which is actually a good thing so I'm just going to Grab this really quick out of the tank. Try to show you guys without dropping it. Really quick. Eggs all around. Those are, that's gravel. I'm actually glad it's falling. To the hatching tank it goes. Three and a half gallon with a small three and a half gallon heater. I did put an air block in here instead of an air stone because I had such a wide surface of eggs. Now I'm going to put a rock up under that to prop it up for me. Okay, I'm back. Just wanna show you guys, this is just a rock that me and my granddaughter found. We collect what we call whale rocks that look sort of like red whales. So what I'm gonna do is put this in the back of this tank so that it actually props the eggs up. Whereas, I'm gonna set this on the floor of the tank rather, up under the back of this cone so that it holds the eggs in front of the air. Hopefully it will sit still and not do too much moving because that is very, very important. All right. It may rock side to side, but it's not going anywhere because I got the rock hanging on this side and I also got it hanging on this side. And what I did basically was just propped it up like so, so that the air bubbles will actually aerate the eggs in this three and a half gallon. All I have is an air pump, as you can see, airline with an air stone. Again, I didn't use the small one because I wanted it to have more um, surface area to aerate because I have such a wide breeding cone this time and again she lay eggs all around it so I want all of those eggs to actually get as much air as possible I did start this tank 48 hours ago and I put one cap full of peroxide per gallon every 12 hours and so for this, which is three and a half gallons, I put three and a half of these little capsules every 12 hours of peroxide in there. Um, that's to keep the fungus and bacteria from growing um, on the eggs, even though there will be some white ones because whichever ones the male did not get a chance to fertilize, they'll actually turn white and I'll actually have to pick them off um, every day. So. That's what I'll be doing, and I'll see you guys on the next update. This is round three of me hatching angelfish eggs. 
And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I am She Breeze. I do this just because, I mean, actually, I love it. But um, I definitely want to share all the interesting things that I learn and um, all the things that I actually love to do. I know that there are some more people out there like me that's kind of weird and love fish so anyway share like and subscribe i'll see you guys in about 60 48 to 60 hours when these guys are wiggling um actually due to my temperature being about 82 degrees it may be about 48 hours but i'll see you guys with an update in 48 hours with about how many of these guys were actually good viable eggs Thanks again. Later. Happy angelfish breeding.